Hey everybody, what's up? This is Michael Torres. As you can tell, this is my first sort of news show. I mean, I've got things like weather maps. Ho, ho, ho! Pretty nice of Germany. I mean, not that any of us are in Germany, but I figured, what the heck? Why not show the weather? As you can see, there is um, temperatures hovering right around um, coolness, I guess. Uh, whatever. Yeah, enough of the weather. Pretty good. Just send that back out that way. So what do I want to do with this kind of stuff? First off, I'm just testing out some software from Boinks TV. Uh, definitely dig it. I think it could be something that'd be really cool to kind of play around with or whatever, you know? I mean, I've got all kinds of cool graphics. I mean, this is pretty, this is high tech, you know? This is just the way that I am, you know? So I may have stole a, a British TV show theme from Jamiroquai. Uh, whatever, shout out to Jamiroquai. Best band on earth. You know, please do not hit me with uh, a suit for using the theme song. I mean, I'm just a guy, you know? And I'm part Native American, like 116th Jamiroquai. I mean, Iroquois, you can't forget this kind of stuff, you know? So, um, I'm just checking it out, seeing what happens, you know, um, I don't know, I guess I could talk about things that I kind of find important to me, but why not? Why would I could just bring out the weather <laughs> one more time, man? Right on, there's the weather. I got to you know, soon I'll have multiple angles, interviews, uh, people talking about this and that. It's going to be pretty hip, you know? Or not because I'm super exhausted and got a lot of things going on, you know. But hey, once this thing sort of, once I get into into the mix a little bit, we'll see what happens, you know. So maybe I'm cool and hip and trendy, you know, have all kinds of neat ideas and stuff like that. So while I've got you it's in the news, we're talking about. So everyone's, you know, bailout, bailout, rescue plan, rescue plan. No, it's a bailout. No, it's a rescue plan. Regardless. People are taking a financial hit, okay? Checking out Forbes, I think it was Forbes. Someone was saying that uh, last night in the debate, what Obama, Obama had talked about was, um, you know, what, you know, some guy asked him, how's bailout gonna affect me? And he said, well, it's gonna affect you because now, you know, these companies that can't get loans, that can't make payroll, and then, you, you know, multiply that by a million companies and then everyone's in trouble. But what I don't understand, and maybe someone out there in the political realm can answer this question for me, which is, well, hold on, let's get that weather map. Get the weather on out of here. Maybe they can answer this question for me. In my mind, I always thought companies were making their own money and they didn't have to rely on loans to make payroll. Like, aren't you supposed to be selling a good what you make for a profit? that's less than what your expenses are and that's how a business works. But apparently, I just blew my own mind there, you know, and not with drugs. I'm pro, I mean, anti-drug, sorry, whoa, whatever. And so here's the deal. I mean, is this not the way things are supposed to work? Uh, you know, is, and here on the other hand, people are talking about, you know, McCain saying, bring up these mortgages. I want to buy out these bad, Mortages, mortgages, mortgages. People say mortgages, but I'm pretty sure it's like mortgages, so like mortgages. I don't know. Anyways, people want to buy these up. You know, he wants to buy these up. These bad mortgages. <laughs> Funny word, road, rude, road. Anyways, he wants to buy these guys up, and. So I heard someone remark, well, geez, why didn't I just buy a bigger house? Because, hey, you know, now I don't have to worry about it. But guess what, people? Everyone says, oh, McCain's just like Bush. McCain's just like Bush. And they're the whole problem for this economic housing crisis. But people don't want to, uh, you know, say this out loud. But guess what? A ton of Americans got into look i live in an apartment okay because i can't afford a house right now and i don't want to take on some super exotic loan because the government said and this was under clinton as well look we need to make it easier for 
people to get into homes. You know, we need to ease up the lending standards, you know, and exactly you ease up the lending standards and everybody and their mama thought, hey, I'm just going to get this fancy loan and leave in this, you know, 3000 you know, $300,000 home and I'm still making, you know, 10 bucks an hour with like three kids or whatever, you know, whatever the situation is. But come on, let's just be reasonable, people. That's part of the problem, okay? And then people wanted to start buying the, these, you know, sub, you know, subprime, you know, loans and this, this investment, blah, 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 whatever. And we're all in, we, everyone bought into this. They're like, okay, well, you know, let's just push this, you know, package onto someone else and, and wrap it in, in, in a nice, neat way so people can think that they can get a return off of it, except that nobody can afford these houses and we all, people went into default, you know, and then that's the problem. Okay, so let's just think about this before we start going on the news, watching TV and saying, oh, well, Tina Fey said this or, you know, uh, Bill O'Reilly said that. I mean, let's use our brains and be just a little bit, you know, um, let's just kind of decipher through the noise and figure out what to do. So, um, you know, whatever, just testing this out. Basically, I didn't mean to go go uh you know all crazy or whatever so hopefully this turns out pretty cool so all right thanks guys